Well, I'm gonna keep this video very brief. I am driving right now to be careful out in these streets if you live in Arizona. Because these people out here, they just don't care. They'll cut right in front of you. If they hit you, they probably keep driving. But anyways, so this time I actually watched the game. And I wasn't impressed at all. I wasn't impressed. I wasn't really that impressed. It seems like... Conspiracy hat on. It seems like... They're trying to do their best to make sure the United States win and get that goal. Because in today's game, I saw a couple of calls that should have went against the United States, but didn't go against them. Yeah, South Sudan, they fought hard. Um, it wasn't a total domination. Uh, South Sudan was probably down 15 to 16 points, 12 points for most of the game actually early on, early on in the game it seemed like they they might just uh do what they did last time but as soon as kd came in off the bench and uh that was pretty much ended of them dreams of them being the lead because kd coming off the bench sure does help and kd has been the difference maker um he has been the difference maker but Outside of that, the game just wasn't impressive to me. I, I don't know. The, the Olymp I know some people are, they don't like the Olympics, don't want to watch the Olympics due to uh, what happened last week Friday, which I thought was utterly disgusting. If you're part of the Christian faith, you will, you will absolutely be disgusted with it. Uh, I did not see it. I heard about it. What happened last week Friday in the open ceremony and I saw screenshots of it. I'm like, really? What are we doing? It's like I know why they're doing it. Because they think Christianity is a terrible cult or whatever, but they won't say that about Islam. No offense to the uh <clears throat> Muslim community or Islam, but they won't say that against them because you know what will happen. But Christians, they know Christians probably look the other eye about it, like they're supposed to, and don't say too much about it. But anyways, it was disgusting. I'm glad all the religions stood up against it, because there was no need for that. But anyways, I'm sure that has turned people off to the Olympics this year. Um, I, I just thought it was absolutely disgusting. I don't know, I just don't understand why that was even needed, mocking the Last Supper. But I never want a team from the USA to lose so badly just all the drama that's circling around us in the last few days with Jason Tatum and then you got that big box hit ass Steve Kerr capping and then you got Grant Hill I'm really disappointed in Grant Hill man I really am disappointed with Grant Hill I know he's a uh, liberal lefty right that's fine to know that's fine with Dan he's not the deranged kind that's fine but the camping that he's been doing uh, to uh, get ahead of this Jalen Brown situation and everything is completely ridiculous. All this lying, it's just ridiculous. I'm, it's, it's very unfortunate what Grant Hill is doing. But anyways, but I, I just never want a team to lose so badly in my life. And maybe it happened. It won't, probably won't happen with South Sudan. It might, they might have to play Canada or Canada, or they'll play France, bigger cousin of Canada. Who knows? Um, I think the other team's Australia, Japan. Uh, France, France almost lost to Japan yesterday, so I don't know anymore. They might just win this whole thing. They win this whole thing, it's whatever. When I say I, I hope they lose, uh, some of the stands talk about if they win, you'll feel sad if they win. Well, they win. All right, congratulations to them. They win. That's what they're supposed to do. But I can't stand the Homelander. I can't stand him. I'm starting to understand Steph Curry with his um, uh, endorsing that freaking cackling hyena with that total embarrassment of that um, uh, what was it? That rally last night. That was a total embarrassment right there for the black community. But there'll be some idiots out there still vote for the cackling hyena to despite Orange Man Bad. 
I'm not saying one is better than the other, but uh, the cackling hyena is making the black community look bad. It ain't making me look bad. Oh, nothing to do with the black community, but I'm just saying for all these people out here, they so worried about Trump, 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 Trump. And here you got Steph Curry out here endorsing that cackling ass hyena. But then again, ain't she from the same area where Stephen Curry currently lives anyway? So it makes sense. All these liberals, they all hang with each other because they all want to be in the mix of everything. But anyways, F Steph Curry. Yeah, I said it. I don't care. I'm really not giving a cares about Steph Curry as a person. I'm sorry. Basketball player, he's all right. Not top ten. I can't stand none of these guys. <laughs> I can't. I can't say I can't stand none of these guys on this team. But some of these dudes on this team, I can't stand. You already know how I feel about LeBron. I I, I can't stand KD. After the last two days of what he's been doing, he should be worried about going out there and playing still, trying to contend with Keyshawn Johnson, which burnt, put him in the burn unit. I'm like, Katie, yeah, you jump to a team that won 73 games the previous season. But why do you need to go out there and tussle with Keyshawn Johnson? When it comes to the sports lexicon, you are more greater than Keyshawn Johnson ever will be. So why are you going back and forth with that? I don't get that. Just shut your mouth and be in Paris. Go eat some crepes and go see the Palace of Versailles or whatever. Start worrying about what these little people on FSN, uh, FSN 1 are thinking. Keyshawn Johnson was half the wide receiver of what he should have been. But anyways... We ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna go there with it. I don't even know why I even went there to begin with anyway. So, yeah. I I ain't feeling this Team USA. It's just too much drama around it. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Some people think it's the Homelander pulling the strings with that big box head Steve Kerr. Some people think Nike has some stake in the NBA, which I think probably possibly could be true. They are the outfitter. So that would make sense. But uh yeah it's it's just too much drama for me and they got this whole paul george thing uh with uh that big box sd Kerr. paul george thought he was gonna go to the olympics the next thing he he discovers that uh he's not going to the olympics because everybody's getting their jersey i think that was like during the playoffs he said i remember when that happened i thought he i am not gonna lie i thought he was going to the olympics I had to look at the list. And I'm sitting there like, oh, I thought Paul George was going. I guess not. No second return for him. So it's just it's just too much, man. But they win, they win. But if they lose, I'll be sitting here laughing it up like the Joker. But anyways. KD dominates again. I don't know why LeBron James is in there. LeBron James was in there for a long time in the last two minutes. It's like, sit your... Oh, ass down. You the oldest one out there. And you still out there stat padding in the Olympic game. Did Joel and B play today? So I know um, Halliburton and uh, Tatum played today. I don't even remember if Joel and B played or not. Because I did miss like, a few parts of this game. Because I actually had to work for a couple of minutes. But anyways, the only one... The only person on this team I like, the only people I like on this team so far is freaking Bam out about Drew Holiday. I can't even stand that anymore, man. I don't know why. I just can't stand that anymore. He's been making dumb decisions. Who else is on this team? I can't stand Derek White either, man. He ain't doing anything, but I just can't stand him. He got in the way of Jalen Brown getting on the team. Who else is on this team? Joel Embiid, you know how guys how I feel about Joel Embiid. Talk about he the goat, but you can't get your ass on the court. You know how I, some of y'all know how I feel about Devin Booker. That's a fraud. Who else on this team? I can't think of right now. Who else is on this team? All right, says Steph Curry. Al Burton, you guys know I can't stand him. Tatum, 
You know, actually, I don't mind Tatum, actually. I don't like his game. I don't mind him as a person. Everybody else on there, other than Tatum, Pops Lee, Bam out of bottle, Drew Holiday. I can't stand y'all.